Bam! Ba damn! Today, guys, we're going to talk about how to develop your calves. This is Chris, aka Bonafide, coming to you live from the inside of my house, and welcome to the Bod Damn channel. This is a channel that's all about food, fitness, and how to live an active, healthy lifestyle. Today's topic is all about calves and how you can develop your calves to make them look amazing. Back in the day, when I was in high school, I did not have good calves, although I did a lot of cycling and everything like that. Genetically, I just wasn't a big calf kind of guy. But since then, I've actually done a substantial amount of research on how to grow the calf muscles, and I've seen significant gains, especially in college, where my calves were the largest that they ever were. Today, present day, as you see the picture in the thumbnail, those are actually my calves present day, and I know how to work them out properly in order to keep them in maintenance mode. But building good calves is not as easy as you think, but you have to know three key things. So here today, we're gonna to discuss those three key things. The first being, you gotta work out your calves heavy. So that's the first thing I wanna to talk to you guys about today. Working the calves out heavy, keeping the reps about four to six reps and doing sets, you know, five, maybe four sets. You don't have to do too many. You gotta keep them heavy and here's why. Because the calf muscle, obviously every single day is actually being worked out. So believe it or not, you are actually working out your calves every single day. They're just used to the workout. Now here's why. Because they're constantly getting your body weight push on them and they're constantly pushing off your body weight when you walk and all that kind of stuff when you run. So they're very used to your type of body weight already. So in order to actually get the calves to grow, you're gonna have to shock them. And the way that you shock them is by actually incorporating heavy weight into the program. Like I said, four to six reps and try to keep your sets, you know, down to maybe four to five sets of four to six reps each. Now, here's the second thing that's really important, is you're gonna have to work out your calves from three different angles. Now, much like my chest workout that you can see right here, where it involves push-ups and six different push-ups to work out the six different parts of the chest, the actual calf muscle is no different, except it only requires three different angles, okay? So, three different angles on the calves, straight feet on the calf machine, feet like this, and then feet like this, okay? So every single day you work out your calves heavy, pick one position and work it out that way. Now, when you put your feet like this in the calf machine and you raise them up and down, you're working out the overall mass of your calf by doing that. Now, when you put your feet like this, that actually works out the outside part of the calf. So do that another day. Now, when you put your feet like this, okay? That actually works the inner part of the calf. So those are the three parts of the calf that you need to work out. Outer, overall, and inner. So now that you know that there are three different foot positions to actually incorporate in your calf workout, what's the third thing you need to know? Here it is, frequency. You gotta train your calves relatively often and shock them relatively often. They're much like the abdominal muscles where you can train them nearly every single day. They have an average recuperation time of about 24 hours, that's it. So you can almost work out your calves every single day at the tail end of your workout, maybe in the beginning of your workout, but either way, you can do it nearly every single day. Now, I'm in maintenance mode right now for my personal calf routine, and I do it three to four times a week. But when I was originally starting out trying to get my calves and shocking my calves and trying to get them huge, I was doing it nearly every single day. And that's fine, trust me. You're not gonna be in huge amounts of pain. You just gotta do it every single day, and your calves will start tolerating the heavy loads and they will be shocked to start growing themselves. All right, so I'm gonna actually show you some calf stuff right here that I've been doing in the gym. Here is an example of an actual seated calf raise. A seated calf raise is one of those machines you can find in almost every single gym. So locate this machine and you can do three positionings of your foot in this machine right here. It's very easy, stack it up pretty heavy. It's an amazing workout. Now, if you don't have the seated calf raise machine, your gym is more than likely going to have the leg press. You can check out the leg press right here, and it's pretty easy, load it up pretty heavy, and then do the calf raises like this. Now if your gym has this one right here, this is the recumbent calf machine, which is really, really cool. It lays kind of parallel to the ground, I guess. You're sitting at a little bit of a diagonal, and uh, it actually works out a good portion of your calf, including some of your shin as well. So if you see this machine, definitely incorporate it into your calf routine. 
Now, if your gym has this machine right here, this is the standing calf raise, which is kind of interesting. It's found in a lot of gyms. I just don't have it in any of my gyms. But I like this machine a whole lot because you can actually stack this thing really, really heavy. Um, and you can do major, major gains with this machine. So if you see this machine in your gym, definitely incorporate it into your calf routine. All right, guys. So let's recap calf mania. I actually went over the fact that you got to do your calves really, really heavy in order to shock your calves to start growing or get more developed. Don't forget three different foot positionings as you see right here. Center feet, feet like this, and feet like that. Very, very important. Also, don't forget the frequency of the calf muscle itself. They have to be worked out quite frequently to start growing. And like I said, they have a 24 hour average recuperation time, which means you can nearly work out your calf muscle every single day. All right guys, so if you do like my videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the Bod Dam channel. You can find me on Facebook at Bod Dam and also on Twitter at Bod Dam. If you're interested in learning how I make some extra money on the side, you can check out my other side channel right here called The Bonafide Hustler. It's a more established YouTube channel as of right now, and it's a really cool channel that'll teach you how to make extra spare money on the weekends. Really, really cool. So with that, thanks a lot. Talk to you guys soon. Bye! And gaining more endurance all in general.